Hi everybody, Susie Q here and welcome to Q Aquatics and Exotics. Today it is bath time. I'm going to be giving all my bearded dragons a bath. She doesn't have the scale so she you know she's not rubbing up against her hammock to this is gonna be fun so I got Milo and Otis then I have bagel it's much bigger goes in the whole sink not just a little tub and then we're gonna do Clementine Clementine is my silky so let's get started with the bath time here's some of the items that I use is the, the tub water conditioner because I got chlorines and chloramines in my water and a thermometer. I use a digital thermometer, but any thermometer would work to make sure your temperatures are between 85 and 95. I fill the water up approximately to their knee joints. <laughs> That's probably not what they're called, but so that they could stand there with their head above water, no problem. You can see this one only gets a little bit because Milo and Otis are tiny. I'm going to bathe them both together. I usually do, but because I have the camera on, I'm sure if something was going to go wrong, it will. So I'll put an extra little enclosure up here just in case I can't handle the two together. So just in case, I got this little Tupperware set up for Milo or Otis, depending on if one of them gets rambunctious. Let me go get them. So I checked the water, and this one is 94 degrees. This one's 92 degrees. Love this handy dandy thermometer. If you remember from my other video, this is Milo and Otis. I'll do the same thing, just put their tails in the back. You can see they're starting to drink. This one, oh, I am not letting go. Hey guys, yeah. I'm not gonna let go if you don't want me to. There you go. Oh, I hope you can see these guys. They're so stinking cute. So the one on my left, this one, is Milo, and this one is Otis. Otis is still in that. There we go. He just relaxed a little bit. Let's see if I can get a little cup and get some of this water out. Stay there. Uh uh. Stay there. There you go, guys. No. Stay there. Okay, you want to go on this one? Okay. Okay, one at a time. One at a time. One at a time. I should probably bathe them separately anyway. They're getting older. They're about seven months old now. Yeah, good. It's okay. He's licking the water off my hand. I don't know if you can see that. Okay, you gotta see when I want him to calm down. All we gotta do is put their hand, my hand, right in front of his face. That'll calm him down a little bit. But these guys are are so little that they are not chill at all. They are not chill. I want to look underneath. All right. Now I'm going to go put them back. Can you see these guys? I can't move the camera. Oh. Okay. It's all right. We're just going to put his hind legs in. And I'm holding him upright. So the only thing that's in is his tail right now. And I'll go super slow. Because he usually loves his bath as long as he's not plunged into the water. Yeah, baby. Now I'm getting his front paws in. He, he does not look like he has any shed skin stuck there, but I keep the same, pretty much the same routine. Whether he went through a shed and has a little bit extra on his fingers, but he never really has a problem. This is my beautiful three-year-old leatherback bagel. 
that I just got from an amazing couple. They were moving and he they got. So he came from a very good loving home that just was getting moving out into a new apartment and the landlord refused to allow beauty. So normally at this part he's a lot more relaxed. See how he's just like a statue? And I would let his front paws go and let him soak. But he's not acting very relaxed, so I'm not letting go. And see how I'm just dripping little bits on his head? I am not pouring it on in his ears or on his eyes. Sometimes right in between here. Oh, ho, ho. yeah, baby. He is an absolutely gorgeous leatherback bearded dragon. And this is Bagel. Very kid friendly. I can let you out. Okay, okay. Here we go. This is Bagel. Ninety-five. I'm gonna go get Clementine. Clementine's a little more sensitive. Okay. So everybody, I want you to meet Clementine. He is my little hypomelanistic silky. Under his beard, he has like three and a half rows of scales. So he's not completely scaleless. But there are no other scales. Now, I noticed a couple... When I got him, now he's a year and a half now. I say he, she, I keep going back and forth because I don't know. Hi, baby. But because she's scaleless, she's in like constantly shedding. Hi, Bobby. See how she's, uh, oh, yeah. She's just my little girl. She gets a bath almost every day. Almost every day. A cup, which she definitely gets her water that she gets to walk in and her water that she drinks. I monitor her enclosure a little bit closer because I don't want the humid humidity level to get too high because she does have a lot of water in there and she's got a lot of soft, mossy like plants in there too because she has a hard time shedding almost all the time. And she can't really rub up against things to get her shed off. Her skin is so delicate. Oh, Bob, yeah. She's my snuggle butt. Yeah, she's my snuggle butt. <laughs> and after her bath, once or twice a week, I put lotion on her. Just a little bit of lotion. And I only put lotion on her on times where I know she's not going to go be soaking underneath her, her UVB right away. Because, like, I survived the 60s and 70s. And in the 70s, we'd spray oil on her skin and go out and fry. Like, thank God we all know better now, but I think it would be very similar if I was to put lotion on her if I wasn't more vigilantly careful about... And you got to be careful putting lotion on her and then her UVB. Okay. We're going to calm her down a little bit. Come on. We're not quite done. We're not quite done, baby. But I'd never get her ears wet. Well, they get a little dribble here and there, but I don't put her head underwater. Sometimes she puts her head underwater. I don't put her eyes underwater. If she could do that, I let her do it. There's two little dark spots here. And her tail looks really good today. We have been soaking and soaking. So this is her. I'm going to go back into the uh, reptile room where it's a little bit warmer. Now this room is like 15 degrees warmer than the rest of the house. Thanks for coming and checking out my little... Uh bathing you ritual that I get to do on the weekends. I absolutely enjoy my time with them. So I'm going to put Otis back and I will see you guys next time.